So one week ago, I picked up this case for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And I want to give my thoughts and opinions after a week of using it. Because yes, it is a $100 case and that's definitely very expensive. But when it comes to foldable phones, $100 for a case isn't really that crazy. Now the benefit of this foldable case, of course, is it does protect the front with raised bumps and it also protects the back. And when you are using your hinge, I'm sorry, it does cover up your hinge when you're using it in phone mode. And of course, it does come with a pen right here. You just go ahead and push that down, pop it out, and just like that, you now have your S Pen with you at all times. Other than that, I've said many times in my first review, my first honest review of it, is that it feels premium. It doesn't feel like it would break. It doesn't feel like it would snap off in any way. If I dropped this right now, I wouldn't feel like it would hit the ground, pop off, and now my phone is just, you know, free and there's nothing protecting it. I also do like how the cameras, as you guys can see right here, it actually does protect the lenses too. At first, I thought that the lenses were not going to be protected by this case, and I thought they would like extrude out of those little covers, but they actually, surprisingly enough, cover it very, very well. It even covers the flash very well with it being, you know, a, uh, in, an indent in there to protect that. Um, I've had no issue with phone calls, audio, or any type of issue with my fingerprint on the fingerprint sensor. As you guys can see, it does perfectly not cover that. So you can actually use your uh, whole entire thumb just like that. Or whatever finger you use for that. Now, I will say overall, after a week of using this, it was probably my most favorite case I've ever used on a foldable phone. I would say, you know, I'm going to go as far as say at, on any phone, period. The reason why is a couple things. And first thing is the grip. The grip on this case is probably the best grip I've ever felt on any case I've ever used. So the this case, right, it's a matte finish. So it's not glossy. It's not slippery, right? When you go, when I go like this, there's tension that like my fingers want to like grab onto the case and it's not just sliding right off. I love that fact. Because the amount of times I hold this case just with one hand. Just like this or just like this. I'm able to fully grip it. And feel like I actually have a firmly grasp on the case at all times. And again like I said. If, if you've ever used a phone case that's slippery. Or just doesn't feel like you know. While you're holding it it could just slide out of your hand. For example plastic cases like this are a great example of that. While, like, for example, a leather case is a very good example. Anything leather just slides right out of your hand within seconds. This case, you don't feel that. And as I said before, the premium plastic feel, it still feels premium in every way possible. Now, I will say there's only two problems I have with this case. And they're small, but they're problems. Number one, this back cover. This back cover gets dirty and fingerprinty literally 24 7. I mean it gets to a point now where I feel like I'm wiping off this back cover. I just wiped it off and you can already see look at that. See all those fingerprints? I just wiped it off and it's already fingerprint again. It's a problem. It's definitely a problem and it's annoying because of the fact that it's like no matter how much you clean it you're going to have that problem. Now, you can get different colors of this case. You don't have to just get the color that I got right here, which is graphite. You can get any color you want, right? So, if that is a problem with, uh, you know, fingerprints, you can get a different color, and you won't have that problem. Other than that, I will say, so the front, as you guys can see with the front screen here, the only problem I have sometimes is dust and debris will build up in the corners around this screen, because of the plastic that it strews off of it. So you guys can see right here the plastic that raises up. That plastic uh, pieces, dust loves to collect in those crevices. Now I do have a little pen thing that uh, is like a little brush. I can go in through like small crevices and actually 
uh, take care of that. And I, I will leave a link down below in the description because it also works for the inside display very, very well. So you're not damaging your inside display. I have video on the channel breaking down all this stuff on the best a way to clean your Galaxy Z Fold series phones. Because, again, you need to be very delicate with these. But even then, I mean, like, I feel like three or four times a day, I'm going through and just, like, swiping out a tiny bit of dust off this phone. And it's not a huge deal, a huge problem. Again, like I said, it's one of those minuscule problems where it's kind of like me nitpicking at this point. Because, again, like I said, I do love this case a lot. That there isn't really anything else that would be a problem with this case. So I gotta say, overall-wise, out of my honest review, after owning this for 7 days, I'm gonna say it's a 10 out of 10. And I have probably never given a case a 10 out of 10. And, again, like I said, it's just the feeling of it. And also another thing I really do like about this case is a lot of these foldable phone cases like the Z Fold series, uh, they will cover the hinge. And don't get me wrong, listen, protecting the hinge, always great, right? Because how do you break a foldable phone? You break the hinge. <laughs> That's the first thing, right? But I will say, so I got the icy blue color of the Z Fold 5. I like that I can see the hinge whenever I pick up this phone. I like when I can see the blue icy uh, hinge and right here, the blue icy right here. So again, like I said, I like that fact I can look at it and say, oh yeah, I got that color scheme where a normal case would probably cover that hinge completely and cover the sides and I would just be looking at a graphite phone every second of my life. With having this exposed, I get to see my actual like color that I picked. And again, like I said, it's a small thing, but I like it because I get to look at it and be like, oh, okay, I do like that color, right? And again, that's why a lot of people won't actually use phone cases at all. I know a lot of people who do not rep phone cases. And it's because they're like, unless I can get a transparent, clear case, I don't want one because it takes away from the color of the phone. Like, I bought this phone, selected that color, so that every time I'm using it, I can you know, look at it and see, oh yeah, I like that color I selected. So this is like, again, something that has been an age old for a lot of people is they won't get a phone case. And you know who's like that? This guy right here. With my iPhone and all my iPhones I've ever used, I do not use phone cases. I have never done it. I've been, so many people have told me so many times like, oh, you gotta get a phone case, you gotta get a phone case. And then once the Pro Series of iPhones started coming out with stainless steel bodies, there was less reason for me to ever get a phone case because again, I buy a certain phone with a certain color because I like that color in that phone. I want to see it. This case gives you that ability to still see your phone at all times, which I really do like. And again, like I said, I never give cases a 10 out of 10. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It is that good and is a must if you do want to go ahead and buy Z Fold 5. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.